The Bible, in the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 26, verse 23, says something very profound. The Lord rewards everyone for their righteousness and faithfulness. This part of the Bible makes us think deeply about how fair God is and how we should view ourselves. It prompts us to consider whether we are truly living as good Christians with faithful hearts and striving to do the right thing. This isn't just a minor thought. It's a fundamental inquiry into the very core of our faith and existence. However, the concept of righteousness presents itself as a complex paradox, especially in the light of human imperfection. We might wonder how we, who often do wrong, can be seen as good in God's eyes. The answer is deep and comes from believing in Jesus Christ. As said in the book of Galatians, chapter 2, verse 20, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. This powerful declaration not only symbolizes our spiritual rebirth, but also gives us hope and guide us towards a life of faith and righteousness, transcending our natural limitations. We humans are naturally inclined to do wrong, which is mentioned in the Bible. In Psalm 51, verse 5, it says that we start our lives with wrongdoings. However, when we admit our mistakes and dedicate our lives to Jesus Christ, we can experience a transformation as described in Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. This verse tells us that our old selves are replaced by Christ living within us. Now, the life we live, we live by believing in the Son of God who loved us and sacrificed for us. This belief changes how we live and think. So, Christ now lives in me. Therefore, when it comes to us chasing righteousness, it comes down to how much of ourselves have we yielded to in Christ. Do we love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, and mind? Or do we place Him behind earthly pleasures and material things? Deuteronomy 6 verses 24 through 25 says, And the Lord commanded us to obey all these decrees and to fear the Lord our God, so that we might always prosper and be kept alive, as is the case today. And if we are careful to obey all this law before the Lord our God, as He has commanded us, that will be our righteousness. By carefully following God's rules, as He told us to, we not only take care of ourselves, but also truly live right. This verse means that being truly good and living well come from always sticking to what God tells us to do. It will be righteousness for us if we follow all of God's statutes, His commandments, and to fear Him. And remember, the Bible says the Lord rewards every man for His righteousness and His faithfulness. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, you alone are holy. You alone are righteous. Father, if we try to live a righteous life through our own strength or will, then we will most certainly fall. But as the Bible says, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. As you live within this Lord, you can displace all evil from our lives. You can give us freedom and break the hold of sin over our lives. You, Lord Jesus, can remove everything that is corrupt. Remove everything that is unclean. Lord, purify me. Cleanse me, God. From today, Father, and from this moment, I pray that you would increase as I decrease May you fill us up with your Spirit, Lord. I take my life and I place it in your hands. I pray that you take the lead. May you take precedence in my life. 
I pray that your commandments would outweigh my own selfish ambitions. Take my hand and lead me. Father God, in agreement with everyone listening right now, we declare that our desire is to walk in a manner which is pleasing and acceptable in your side. Our desire is to walk in a manner that is pure and Christ-like. Please guide us in everything we do. Help us think, act, and speak in ways that show your love and honesty. Give us strength to handle daily challenges, trusting in your constant support. Teach us to be patient and kind, to understand and care for others, just like you do for us. Fill our hearts with your peace and let that peace spread to everyone we meet. Lord, your word tells us that the way of righteousness leads to life and not death. So lead us, King Jesus, to eternal life. I pray that each and every one of us would experience a change in our lives from today. And Lord, may the Holy Spirit radically change our hearts to the glory of your name. Your word says in the book of Psalm, chapter 1, verses 1 through 2, Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked or stand in the way that sinners take or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the love of the Lord and who meditates on his law day and night. Guide us, King Jesus, so that we would not be found walking in the counsel of those who are sinful and wicked. Lord, give us hearts that delight in your word. It's in you, Jesus, that we seek strength. It's in you, Lord, that we can overcome. Your God who never disappoints, the one who gives us peace of mind, direction, true leadership. And so we bow down to your authority, King Jesus. When we're unsure or worried, help us remember you're always with us and won't ever abandon us. Refresh our hearts, God, and make our passion for you shine bright. We give our lives to you, Lord. Let us show your greatness, share your teachings, and be loving like you. We trust you with our plans, believing you'll make them good for us and honor you. The book of Psalm 23 verse 3 says, He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. We have faith in you, Lord, because unlike the people on this earth, unlike the ways of this earth, you never let us stray. You will never let us stray. You will never lead us to destruction. It's only you, King Jesus, that can lead us through the valley of the shadow of death and still offer us peace. It's you that can lead us through the valley and still offer us joy. May the fear of the Lord rest upon me as I pursue righteousness in this life. The Bible says in Proverbs 9 verse 10, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Lord, I ask that you bestow wisdom upon me as I hold reverence only for you. Grant me the insight to see through your eyes and the discernment to understand your ways. In my everyday life, please lead me with your wisdom so I make choices that please you. Help me learn more about you, getting clearer and better understanding in everything I do. I want my actions and choices to show the wisdom I get from you. Thank you, King Jesus, for the strength to resist sin. Keep growing stronger in my life as I step back and let you lead. We give you all the praise, glory, and honor, Lord Jesus. In your holy name, we pray. Amen.